Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. When we left off, we had gone through the remainder of the Rainbow Shell quest, which I ended up splitting up into two episodes because it ran for, well, a little bit too long. We were successful, got ourselves the Rainbow Shell, and all sorts of nifty stuff. So, going back into the present, there are a couple things I want to pick up in Guardia Castle before we head out, because we've, you know, we've gotten just about everything, but there were a couple things that we haven't hit quite yet that we can pick up here. So it'll just be a brief little sideshow here. All right, the red vest leveled up. We got the red mail. Nice. Could have used that when we fought the Son of Sun or the Rust Tyranno, but eh, fair's fair. I think that's basically all that we've got in regards to to treasure here. So we'll go back and we'll go back to the past to pick up just just pick up these couple of things there. So shouldn't be too long of a of a track. Now I mentioned what I'm going to do next is go into the future after I pick this stuff up and then we're going to go after the last remaining side quest we have which is the side quest for Robo going through the Genodome. So we're gonna head there and I'm likely gonna be splitting that one up as well because basically we had you know it, it's gonna be decently long you know, it's going to be a decently long side quest. Not terribly long. I mean, none of them have been overly too much. But it is still going to be enough where we'll really need to split it up into two episodes. Then what I'm going to end up doing, I think, for the episode after that is taking care of some side things, such as, for instance, picking up those rocks that I keep talking about. And also pick up one or two things that I've missed, as I've noticed going through the playthrough. And I'll do that. That'll probably just be a short little side episode before we go into the Black Omen, which is in essence going to be when we start moving into the end game. So let's head over to Geno Dome right here. And before I go in, I'm going to switch the party around a little bit because we're going to have to have Robo in here for it. It's not a bad idea to have him along anyway, but I'll go ahead and leave the rest of the party as is. Alrighty, now we've seen the insides of domes before. Analysis complete. Please follow me. Okay, and it'll give you a chance to go ahead and switch your party around, but I've already done it. So, well, let's tip tap on the computer. And okay, why is it not gonna, hmm, I might need to put Robo in the front part of my party, I think. All right, let's try this this way. There we go. Okay. Who enters here, unbidden? Ah. Welcome home, R66Y. Or should I say, Prometheus? You dare to defile this place with humans? I haven't seen them in ages. Let me welcome them. Come closer. Oh no, we can't get out! Let us out! Let us out! <clears throat> anyway. In we go, and now, heh, let's just see what you can do. Now, this is probably one of the most famous conveyor belts in history, because you hop on here, and you're going to have five consecutive battles, which I'll go ahead and keep them all in for the sake of the uh, playthrough. First off, the debuggists. Yes, I know, really a nice term if you want to try to say that five times fast. Not a whole lot to them, but... Hello, Rainbow Sword. We haven't used it before. It is fantastic. It is beautiful. And it counterattacks almost all the time with the Frenzy Band, so that makes it even more fun. <laughs> Alright, Robo learns Area Bomb. We can go ahead and show that one off then. And the Proto 4. Whoops. Where's Robo? There you are. Area Bomb! Not quite going to take him out, but still. Let's see, I don't think there's really anything in the way of extra text I need to show off, so just go ahead and wipe the floor with these guys. <laughs> and 
And now we start getting mixtures of the different grooves. Let's see, let's go ahead and load all of them up. Okay, I don't think we really got much in the way of... Nah, let's just take them out. Well, that didn't quite take care of all of them, but oh well. Let's start the process anyway. Ow. Don't do that. Unless you want to die. Well, almost die, I guess. And just, in essence, just carry on. You're gonna go through this for, basically for three more battles, and I might end up using some healthy helpings of Luminaire just to speed the process up. Now, one thing about this... Oh, there we go, that's good. Okay, one thing about this process is... And one of the great things about this, if you're playing through this, just you know, obviously not doing a walkthrough where you have to stop for this or that, but if you're just kind of playing through casually, then this is a great place to level up. In fact, it's one of the best places to level up in the game. Why? Well, basically, because this is repeatable. You can go back and do this time and time and time again until, of course, you beat up, you beat the monsters in Genodome. Now, if you do that, then once it shuts down and everything, of course, obviously, everything's going to go away. But, if you do keep doing and you'll keep going through you can go back through and continue to basically run through it as much as you want and I think I don't remember the exact math but you're gonna get something on the level of 11,000 experience points by the time you're done running each instance of this and that is a pretty good amount of experience you see we're getting a lot of points here alrighty Okay, there we go. Actually, I guess it was four battles. <laughs> Not bad for humans, but can you find your way to me? All right, challenge accepted. Now, just for the, okay, well, I wonder why it even has that exchange thing there. Oh, well, we can have Robo as the lead. Okay, let's see, I think, let's see, where is the, there's a shoot over, I believe over here somewhere, let's see, I think it's this way, where you can actually trigger it to go back to the uh, beginning if you wanted to. All right, but run around here and, oh, we can't really get anywhere. Okay, uh, nothing really to report there. 300 years ago, the Lavos disaster greatly changed the planet. At this rate, humans will die out from pure despair. Oh, great. That's that's always fun. And we've got this fella that we can't seem to get past. Okay. Now, you notice the Poyozo doll behind him. We will need to grab that at some point if we're going to go further. But we can't do that just yet. So let's head over this direction, see what we can find. More uh, debuggers, I think. Okay. Uh, again, pretty much the same as we'd seen before. Let's see. Here we go. This is the dust chute where you can go back to the beginning if you want to. Of course, I'm not going to, so ixnay at they. Let's wander over. I think we can pick up some items in here. Uh, no, we've got elevator. Okay, we're not going to take that yet. Let's see. Maybe in here? Yes, items. Okay. And enemies. Alrighty, let's uh, see what we can find here. Okay, and... Okay, not too bad. All right, now you wander over this direction. We can't exactly uh, get anywhere yet. Let's see, there's one of those things running around. Well, actually, never mind. You can get somewhere, you just can't get somewhere very quickly. You can go over here. We can't get in there yet. But you can hit this to open it up. And that actually corresponds with the one that we saw down at the bottom earlier. Wander up here and well, okay. <laughs> All 
right, well, not really going to let us do much of anything, so just go back down here. And we're going to, let's go ahead and open this up. Because we can wander up here. Actually, wander all the way over this way, where we can not trigger this door yet. We can go ahead and fight these things, which we haven't seen before. And these are laser guards, which, in essence, well, huh, big shock, they shoot lasers at you. Ah, uh, who'd have thunk it? And they're also, as you notice, very weak. So, pretty much, just toss anything you got at them and they will fall, especially before the might of Chrono's, holy cow, Chrono's rainbow sword. And Ayla being Ayla. Alrighty. And yeah, there we go. So, that's that. Now, you can trigger these switches. We don't really know any passwords or any sort of mechanisms yet to figure that out, so we'll leave them be for now. Ultimately, though, you can hit those switches and be able to open up that door over there. Okay, uh, Ayla actually leveled up on that one. Hooray. So now let's go over and flip this thing open and we see ourselves a little note, which I don't think we can really read that one, but we can access the computers. This computer can give us data about the genodome. All right, sweet. What shall we examine first? Yeah, let's go for, let's go for the door. To open locked doors, simply charge the energy pods beside them. Energize first in the pod to your left, then enter the pod next to a locked door. Yes, let's look at other stuff. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt conveyor to the right can be reversed with a switch above it. Okay. I don't think I remember seeing any switch above it, but oh well. Guard machine. The robot guarding the figurine will block anyone that tries to pass, but if you place two guards in front of each other, they will short circuit. Return the broken guard to the room upstairs. Heh. <laughs> and then, one more thing, the doll. You must obtain the two figurines on this floor to fight the mother brain. Do not leave with them. Eh, okay. Yeah, we're good. Alright, so, what you do, dash in there, and Robo's all charged up. But he can only stay charged up for a limited amount of time. So you gotta know where you're going so that you can make sure that everything, of course, is obviously, holy crap, good to go. 50,000 gold, whoo, nice. All right, now this is in essence how you're gonna unlock those two doors. Just hit this, and then you need to really know where you're going so that you can actually get this in time, you know, so it'll remain charged up enough so you can actually go all the way up here, no, no. And it ran out, crap. Okay, so what we've gotta do is try to transform or try to uh, turn off the conveyor or try to switch the conveyor belt. Now, so let's travel around here a little bit, see if we can figure it out. Hmm, okay. And we can't go over there to do it. Let's see. That's, no, that's just gonna take us upstairs. All right, we may need to go up the upstairs though for a moment just to try to get some of this worked out here. Let's see, dee -dee 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 -dee. it's not gonna be over here, I don't think, although we can go ahead and unlock this actually, so let's go ahead and take care of that one before we head upstairs. Okay, we can't unlock it, crap. All right, I guess we do get to go upstairs then. Let's see, move up here and go a traveling. Fortunately, these elevators don't take very long. And a save point, all right. So I'll just go, I'll go in here and I'm gonna trigger some stuff. I think we are gonna trigger stuff going down this hall. Yep. Don't you understand? This planet would be peaceful if there were no humans around. And yet you still want to fight? Why? I think it'd be perfectly good with humans around, but that's just me. Okay, looks like we get to fight some more enemies here. Alrighty, uh, not a whole lot to report in that battle. One thing, the laser guards actually can self-destruct if you're not careful. And secondly, Ayla learned triple kick, so I get to show that one off in the next battle. 
All right, so we go down the stairs here, and we can do a couple of things, actually. We can turn this laser off so that we can actually dive over this direction and make it a bit of a shortcut. And we can head over here to switch the conveyor belt. Hooray! So, now we can actually go back this way and head over to see if we can trigger that other door. So, all right, now we've got a lot of running to do, so let's see if I can pull it off here. Run, 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 Robo, run. Run, you big metallic object. Cut corners, cut more corners, hit the conveyor belt, and yes. Ooh, just in time, too. All right. Okay, so what we need to do, talk to this fella and get him following you. Now, don't run. Or, well, you gotta be very careful trying to get him to follow you because otherwise he's gonna get stuck way too easily, like so. Okay, so don't run because, well, unless here, but don't run too much because otherwise he's not gonna follow you. And I know it's, you're probably thinking, gee, Eric, this is incredibly, uh, incredibly interesting. Thank you for enlightening us, sir. But hey, that's necessary. So just waddle on along until you get to that other guard that was pushing us back a little bit ago. And then you make your way over. And like it said on the computer, just get these two babies facing each other and they cancel each other out. And we can pick up Poyozo. Hooray! All right, now we've got to figure out how we're going to open the door to get this one, get the other Poyozo. This has to do with these switches. I believe it is, yeah, okay, it was the first and third one. I don't remember how I remembered that, but hey, go. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so just maneuver on around here. Open the door. And we have ourselves our second Poyozo. All right, so we've got that taken care of, and now we can head upstairs and stay upstairs so that we can look into progressing forward, perhaps to fight ourselves a mother brain, which it seems is necessary to fight. But let me trigger these guys first. And actually, I had forgotten to show off Triple Kick in the last battle, so let's show her off, shall we? And watch him self-destruct. No! I want to show off Triple Kick, dang it! Okay, Triple Kick. Ow, ow, ow. What you might expect. Lots of Ayla Pain. Oh, that's good. They leveled up. Sweet. All right, let's pick you up. And... Since I told you I am going to be splitting this one up, I'll go ahead and split it up here. Get myself healed up for the travails to come. And on the next episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we are going to finish up our run of Geno Dome and see if we can beat up our friend Mother Brain. So thank you guys for joining me, and I will see y'all later.